guys. I'm David from Folksley Overlanding. I just received uh, this portable fridge and uh, fridge and freezer. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I don't have to worry about dragging the ice out on the trail. You know, bounces around, it messes your labels up on your condiments, you got meat in your bags, your bags end up busting, and then you got a bloody mess in your cooler along with your drinks and just everything else is sloshing around there while you're bouncing on the trails. So I got on Amazon. I went and shopped around for it for a while. I found this for under 300 bucks. Um, the, this cooler here is it, fine if you want to go out for like a day picnic or whatever. The only thing I don't like about it is it's heavy and it almost takes two people to carry it out. Um, you know, overlanding, you got to worry about weight, space. Um, you know, for me, it, you know, space is a big thing because I don't have. <laughs> I don't have a lot of room in my rig, and you know I've, I've got a rooftop tent that weighs probably almost 100 pounds, and you got to worry about your, uh, your cooking, like your camp stove, uh, clothing. You got recovery gear. You got, I mean, just odds and ends things that you got to make it through on the trip on the trail because you might be out there two to five days or even more depending on you know what you got planned. So, um, I was just getting fed up with the ice issue. You, you go out for more than two days, you know, you gotta worry about your ice melting, then you gotta drain it, and then you gotta hopefully, you know, find somewhere where you can get to that, that even sells the ice. So, with that being said, this is why I bought it, and I'm gonna put it on the table, we're gonna open it up, kind of unbox it, See what we think about it. Right here it is. This is the uh, the Joy Tutus Joy Tutu. I, look, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's weird. It's kind of a funny name. It did come from Amazon. I'll uh, I'll put the link in the description for it. Uh, I don't have a portable, fancy portable powered battery pack like a Jack or your uh, Blue Yeti. I don't have one of them yet. So I'll have to just plug it into the wall and you know that <laughs> I don't know how many watts it's going to pull. I don't know if they hold true to what the specs say on it. I, I don't know any of that. That's not what my, I'm not trying to do a review on that. I'm trying to do a review how it's going to do it out there on the trail. I mean that's what really matters, right? All right. So here we are. Oh yeah, by the way, when I got this, it was upside down, so they went from this side up. You gotta love the mail carriers. And what's cool is this right here is actually double boxed, so I mean, how many times do you go and you buy stuff and the box is banged up and damaged? Well, I mean, actually this looks pretty good, so. a good chest we've had ice in it you know a good three days you know and that's in the summer I need more than that
I've seen other people have reviews on similar Amazon portable fridges, such as the Bose RV. Um, this one, and I think there's another one. I, man, I may be wrong, but they all look the same. They all have the same design. So I don't know if the same Chinese company manufactures them or what, just rebrands them. I mean, but who knows? In case y'all don't know, about to see that Joy Tutis. That's just what I'm gonna go with. Get around it. Chain is not. I mean, it's nice and sturdy. like the Bose RV. It's got the same key handle which is freaking awesome because I mean let's face it, who wants to have a little video Allen key wrench and stuff like I mean this right here trying to fidget things in. That's that's awesome. Good hard plastic. Yeah. User manual, body body blah. blah. In case you read Dutch, <laughs> English. The English version only has what <laughs> three pages. So what this one is is a cooler slash freezer, quote unquote. You know, not technically, but to say. It's got a little compartment right here, so you got a freezer over here, and you and you leave it on, you know, negative. This thing will go to negative four. So if you leave it on that right there, your stuff in that little freeze compartment is eventually going to get frozen because there's nothing to regulate it. But you can uh, turn it down. Up. You can go all the way up to 55 down to negative four. Same design as the Bose, that, that texture as the Bose RV, same thing. I'm not saying that they're the same company, I'm saying they look like the components are identical. One may have sold the, the design from another, who knows. Anyway, another reason why I wanted this area is because you're out. You know, I like to cook eggs for breakfast and French toast, you know. So, you got eggs sloshing around in, in, a, in an ice chest, bouncing off the rocks and climbing up hills and whatever. They're going to bust, you know. You can lay these kind of in there it's nice and snug in a carton and that may still be safe. You, I, mean, it's, I mean, why wouldn't you get one? I think, 
they give him a Yeti is like three hundred something dollars. So. Yes. Yeah. So this latch right here, it's kind of, it's got a good grip on it. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, so, man. nice spring loaded. It is not going to just pop open on you. I promise you that. So, this is the cooler. Like, right in here is supposed to be your freezer compartment. And then right here, my, my lighting's not that great, so just bear with me. But right in here is supposed to be your fridge compartment. It may not look that big, but for, for me, it's plenty. I mean, I may carry a little little ice chest just for my drinks but this, this right here comes with it it comes out and it has two separate compartments here and this this partition right here will come out if you need it to I'm gonna leave it in uh, it's got a it's got like a little guide here for your temperatures or what have you and it does have a an LED light so when you open it up there's a little switch right here it'll illuminate where you can see your contents and you know right here it, it shows you you know your freezer your refrigerator part yeah so this is the back of it <clears throat> It show you the little directions how to work your you know your screen right here and it's all touch touch sensitive and it's got your plug it does have a uh, a battery protection just like the uh the Bose rv uh, portable fridge and it's got a little guide right here that shows you you know what level your battery you want it to protect which is awesome for me, that's what I'll be using because it's just gonna be plugged into my cigarette lighter on my or my auxiliary. Oh my Jeep! Um, we're going out this weekend. Um, it's gonna be cold, so I probably won't have to use it that much. But I'll give you the real review out there on the trail. I mean, I'm not gonna go in detail, and, you know throw some temperature gauges and what have you in there and draw do an amp draw and all of that they're already out there but I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how I like it but in the meantime I'm gonna let's plug this thing up and let's see if you know if it even comes on at least There it's plugged in. LCD screen is doing its thing. All right. And I think to power it on, let's see what it says. And these good old instructions here. Let's see. So to power it on, you hold the button for three seconds. One, two, three. All right, so it did kick on. I'm hearing the, I'm hearing the compressor. And it's actually blowing, it's venting. That's working good. It says it's 62 degrees inside this ice chest, you know. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know about y'all, but I like my stuff kind of cold, especially my drinks. And I like mine just a little bit above freezing. Let's do 34. Or, yeah, let's do 35 to make it. And it's on. 
you can change it up to or it's, it's got an eco or a max mode and I'm I'm gonna leave it on max mode that way it'll cool a lot faster all right so let's see what it looks like when it's Ooh, I'm gonna tell y'all that that latches it it latches awesome yeah so LED light and y'all see let's see yeah maybe anyway it's, my lighting is not very great y'all just bear with me what the refrigerator compartment is about as deep as my hand I mean you for drinks and stuff yeah it'd be perfect and I got my hand actually I can actually feel it it's already starting to cool so nice all right <clears throat> I got the refrigerator uh, I've got it on. It is not very loud at all. It doesn't vibrate. It, the motor sounds nice and quiet. But I'm going to uh, put some some stuff in it and kind of give y'all an idea about how big it is. This is a 42 quart, by the way. Y'all can kind of see how big it is. Those are two Blue Moon in glass bottles. Plenty of room for food, drinks. And that's what it looks like with the crate in. Nice and organized. You can put one of those little six... Uh, a carton of six eggs right there you can stack your lunch meat cheese whatever you can put your meats over here you can put your canned drinks water whatever and look no ice that's the main thing we're gonna take this bad boy out to the trails starting Friday night we're gonna go camp in this beautiful camp spot and we're gonna wake up then we're gonna hit the trails all day and we got we're, we're gonna have some pretty nice footage for you and on the trail y'all get to see how this thing works and I'll let you know if, how I like it I mean maybe y'all would y'all may be in the market for one and if so like I said I'll uh, I'll leave y'all a link in the description and that way y'all can check it out yourselves So I figured this would be a good spot to uh, kind of give everybody a review on this uh, Joy Tuttis fridge that I got. <clears throat> Let's go check it out. There it is. <laughs> this poor guy has been bounced around for the past few weeks. Uh, it's never failed me. I can tell you one thing that obviously if it's colder outside than it is in the uh what the freezer can keep up so the past weekend it was it got down to seven degrees that morning and it kind of i want to say it let the air cold it was like an e1 air i don't know but anyway after i got in the jeep and started it started it up it ran fine it has kept stuff, I mean, just perfectly cold, just the way I like it. I don't like it frozen, but I like it on that 
point to where it's almost froze. You know, I like it cold, a cold drink whenever I drink it. So I got some drinks in here and some snacks that I stole out of the kids' snack basket. <laughs> so I, I thought this would be a good time for me to just stop and just have a little snack. But check it out. Can't never go wrong with some tea. Some gold peak tea. Not affiliated. But that's what I like. Especially on the trails, it's good. Good and cold. Ah, so good. So my final review on the Joy Tuttis refrigerator is 100% go out and get one if you if you don't like the ice. That's my main thing is the dead gum ice. It sloshes around. You got, you, you got ice up to here and, or water, and then you got to empty that water out, and then you got to worry about finding ice again. And, you know, almost $3 a bag of ice each time. Like, I, I wanted to go out here on this little run just for a quick, all right, let's get out of the house and go do something weekend. <clears throat> I threw this in here, plugged it into my 12 volt. Uh, while ago, this thing right here was just just bouncing like this right here, just constantly. And so, yeah, I I put it through some pretty uh, strenuous situations, and it's never failed me so far. I would uh, if you want this. I'll leave it in the, I'll leave the link in the description. I did get it off of Amazon for like, I think it was under 300 bucks. I mean, it's kind of a no brainer guys. No more ass.